Being a style editor, I get to come up with an idea that's just a grain of an idea and then I can develop that idea into what then becomes a fashion shoot. I pull together the team, the model, the hair, the makeup, the photographer, the location and then bring it all together and bring it to life and, and then into the pages of Marie Claire and that's so satisfying to go from soup to nuts and see what was a grain of an idea now in print on the pages of Marie Claire. As a kid I drooled over my mum's Vogue, I studied journalism at college and then um, realised I wanted to be on fashion about sort of 16 years old. I started as an intern at um, a magazine called Looks. I was studying journalism at the time and I spent every spare second um, working at this magazine and it was actually on the beauty side. Um, a job came up then at Marie Claire in the UK for Beauty Assistant, which was in 2000. Once in there, I kind of climbed my way up the masthead from there to beauty editor um, to beauty director. And then four years ago, the job for senior fashion editor came up at Marie Claire in the US. So I decided to jump the pond and come over here. There are no two days the same in my job. I think that's one of the things I like about it so much. One day I could be on a shoot in Mexico on a beach. The next day I could be at Paris watching a show. The next day I could be back in the office slogging away preparing for these things. The next day I could be on the Oscar red carpet reporting from there. That makes my job all the more exciting. The most challenging part of my job is there's not enough hours in the day. The morning starts, and I am very lucky here at Hearst, we have this incredible gym downstairs, so I can be there at 7.30 for a class, and I can be up in the office by 8.30, and then breakfast, then you work all the way through, then lunch at the desk, it finishes anywhere between 7 or 8, and then there's usually a dinner after that, and then there's usually something else after that. It's, it's a full-on 24-7 job. I use the internet all day, every day. My iPad is with me at all times. Um, my favourite websites would be, for inspiration, I like Fashion Gone Rogue. I'm always on model agents websites. I love the website Nowness. I also love boutique.com. Just look online, all these amazing fashion bloggers. Um, there's so much, you can see the runway shows as soon as they're, they're on, they're, they're live streamed. You can, you can be an editor of your own closet. We see a lot of looks on the runway that some are obviously high fashion, some are you could never kind of just pop them on and walk down the street in them. So these are the kind of things we have to take and make accessible and wearable for the everyday woman. We could do that by pairing them with more wearable pieces. The mass market is a great place to start looking. You know, you can go to Topshop, you can go to Zara, you can go to Banana Republic and find really great looks at a fraction of the price. I find inspiration obviously mainly through fashion, but then there's, there's the whole world outside, the people on the street, music, film, architecture, just everywhere you look there's always inspiration, inspiration for shoots, inspiration for things you're going to put in the magazine and basically what's on people's minds, what's in popular culture, even inspiration in the news, you know, things that are relevant today, which fashion should actually always be relevant. I always had a distinct style, whether it be necessarily advisable for anyone to dress like I dress. Um, I was always interested in fashion. Thank you for coming to Marie Claire and seeing the day in the life of a fashion editor. I hope it inspired you and you go on to do many fashionable things yourselves. <laughs>